Vista Young Game Designers Inspired series. Episode 4, Sound in Motion. How to create, edit and script sound. The difference between motion and performance capture and how to replicate the awesome cinematics of AAA games. Motion capture is the process of capturing the motion um, of, of a person and taking the movement of those joints and transferring them onto a skeleton, which then gets put into a character in game so that you can basically duplicate the movement of any person onto a character in a game. It involves someone like Leon here jumping into a Lycra suit and getting covered in these lovely reflective markers. The cameras fire out infrared light, which are reflected back into the cameras. Um, and then that is like captured in our software that turns that into the data that you require for, for movement. Motion capture enhances the gameplay experience by making it really easy to capture different performances. So you can try a bunch of different things and kind of get the performance you want. You also get the intricacies of movement, so little tiny movements that you take a while to build into the animation, you kind of get in the performance. So the data is recorded by tracking these small markers on your suit and then that is applied to a digital skeleton in the game. We can provide, you know, in, in a matter of hours what it would normally take, you know, animators, perhaps days, even weeks to, to try and put together. A gameplay cinematic is basically a scene which kind of describes the story. So it progresses you from your gameplay to the next level. So we would create that through planning a certain amount then we would come down, try things out, and then basically create a story element to the game. And the realism that we can gain from it is down to the, well, yeah, the nuances of human movement, which generally, as a game player, you won't see it. But it's because you don't see it that you accept it, and you, you tend to have a lot more empathy for your characters if they are far more real. We kind of rely on the animators to, to have that creative flair to live the part, really. The most rewarding aspect is probably when you see someone playing the game and kind of enjoying the experience of something you've done. Sound editing is uh, getting all the sounds that you've either recorded or um, having a library and putting them into sort of the right place in relation to into the video. Mixing is sort of taking that fitted audio and making it sound more realistic adding reverb, making it, if they're far away, making it a bit quieter, and then maybe putting it from the right speaker across to the left. Each sound effect is recorded separately and specifically for what is actually happening on the screen. Uh, that way it, it comes across as, as really realistic. A Foley artist is what I think helps bring a character to life. Every element within a game is important from the visuals down to every last sound that is put in, because if something doesn't match what the player is seeing on the screen, then the reality of that game is completely lost. So we uh, create the sounds for Foley in a theatre, so we've got a big theatre with all different surfaces, so you can have different footsteps and different surfaces. We've got artists who perform those sounds. There's also different props, so you might have an impact, a body impact, or something like that. Sound is deeply important within games and it's about finding that right mix and balance within the world. I think that is key to making a great game. In our next episode, we're uncovering the secrets of testing and marketing your game. In the meantime, for more inspiration or to enter the BAFTA Young Game Designers competition, visit ygd.bafta.org.